I'm Marissa Sarbach. Welcome to The Buzz, Newsday's weekly series covering the hottest trends in music, fashion, television, and so much more. Today we are talking all about the latest release from Walt Disney Pictures, the hit movie now streaming on Disney Plus, Safety. Our guest today is one of the stars in this hit film, actor Hunter Sansone. Hunter, thank you so much for joining us today via Zoom. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. So what I really love about this film is that safety is actually based off of a true story of a Clemson football player who really comes from a tough situation. He ends up being the only one in his family who can care for his younger brother while trying to maintain a football scholarship at Clemson. How closely do you think the movie follows the real life version of the story? I, I think it's it's extremely close to, to what went down. I don't know um, what or was not adjusted um, throughout the filming process. Um, but I know, especially with speaking with Ray on set, that they were trying to follow it as closely as they could. And just to give everybody a little bit of a background, you play Daniel Morelli, Ray McElrath Bay's roommate, teammate, friend, and you are the first one to find out that Ray is hiding his brother on campus. First one to jump in line with him to do sprints when Ray gets in trouble for hiding Faye on campus. And it really feels like your character exemplifies what family is all about. Yeah, thank you for that. That's that's actually a compliment because that's what I hope comes across. And uh, that was one of the reasons why I was so attracted to the role and to the project is because, as you said, the core theme of this film is family. And I think it's so cool that the core theme or core values of who Daniel Morelli is as a person revolve around family. And so for me, that direct parallel of who Daniel is and what the film's about was really, really cool to jump into as an actor. It seems like on set, it must have become a real family with the guys that were playing the football teammates. And it seemed like you guys really had great chemistry between everyone on set. Do you think that it felt like a family when you guys were there? Oh, 100%. I mean, it, it completely turned into a family atmosphere. And when you have the actual Ray, who the film is inspired by on set with you, it, you can't really help but develop this, this family bond between everyone. And and not only was he on set, he was in the hotel gym with us every other day, training us, getting us in shape for this football film. And, and the guy is an absolute Iron Man. So we were trying to keep up with him as best as we could. But what it really did for us is it created a bond because we see the guy who the film is inspired by in here working. So we better work and make this the best possible film that we can. I want to roll one of the clips from the movie. This is one of my personal favorites. We'll take this right now. This is Ray's brother. Hey, Mom. What's up? What's good? What's up, bro? What's up, little man? <laughs> so, uh, when y'all gonna tell me about this secret y'all was talking about? Ain't this supposed to be a secret or something? This is my secret. That you got a little brother? Hey, man, I got a little brother, too. <laughs> he's not as tall as you, but he's got a green shirt. No, that he's secretly living on campus with me. Oh! oh. <laughs> Makes sense now. Hunter, I love this, because you just see your hand go, there you go. You figured it out. You must have had so much fun with this role as Daniel Morelli, everybody's favorite Italian. Right? I know. <laughs> Funny enough, uh, that that line was uh, was just improv in the moment. And oh, wow. Reggie loved it, the director, and just went with it. I'm so happy he used that take because I didn't know he was going to um, until, I saw, until I saw the film. But uh, yeah, no, Daniel is so much fun to be this kind of bubbly, happy, good, hearted, good natured kid from Long Island, New York with a thick accent. I'm Italian. He's Italian. That was a real bond. And so for that to uh, kind of line up, it, it was it was really, really fun. And, and I wish it was a series so I could go back and play Daniel every single week. What was it that made it come to your head to say, ah, I'm just going to add in there everybody's favorite Italian? Well, it, I, we did a few takes and it just I don't know. I mean, I, I had sat with the character for a while at that point, and I, I think that's just how it goes with acting: is you you spend enough time with you know with the character and with the story and the script, and things just start coming to you. The the, the more you dive into the paper and and really kind of fall into the pocket of who the character is, and and, and I just it felt right in the moment. I don't know, it just kind of happened. It definitely worked. I laughed. I know a lot of people were laughing throughout that. It, I think the film overall does a nice job making the audience laugh and then also hitting on these really intense real life issues. It's honestly inspirational. Did you have a favorite part or scene while shooting? Uh, I mean, I, I love so many moments of it. I, even the ones where I'm not a part of it, like the, the, the scene between Ray and his mother, when she's signing over the papers, just, I mean, it, it just got me, man. And it, it was so touching. 
Um, so there were so many moments like that throughout the film that I loved. But I don't know. I mean, particular to Daniel, I think um, I think it's pretty hilarious to me when when Ray and Faye are sitting there in front of him, like Daniel's almost in trouble, and they're asking to babysit Faye, and I'm just staring at them like they're out of their minds. But of course, I will do it. But it's 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 just hilarious. But it's such a heavy storyline but i think they do such a great job with adding in elements of comedy and lightheartedness and 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 i think that was cool to kind of be somewhat of the comic relief throughout the throughout the story yeah and it's really a lot of times where you don't expect it which i thought was really cool uh something hunter that i didn't even realize until the end when the credits rolled ray is actually in the film the real ray he is he makes it he makes a little quick cameo moment and it, it's it's so good i was so happy because he he was on the field um multiple times and i don't know if you guys know this but the scene it, it's a practice scene and he gets a lateral if you remember ray gets an interception at practice and is running down the field and laterals it to his teammate and his teammate runs in for the touchdown the teammate who caught the lateral and went in for the touchdown is the actual ray as well wow. so there's is the moment where they're, you know, breaking up and, and, and the whole team is ending practice where you actually see the real Ray, but there's also that moment when the helmet is on him that that's actually Ray as well. Oh my gosh, it must have been so cool to work with the real Ray and to, I mean, all of the guys really, but to hear his original story and work with him, like you said, he's in the gym with you. That must have been such a cool experience. Oh, so much fun. And like I already said, it just added so much of a family element to the project and it made us want to honor this this story more than we already wanted to, you know? Yeah. I know you've done other work as well. You've done SWAT on CBS, Stargirl on the CW, but this was your first role in a Disney film. What was it like for you to work on a movie with such a big name in the entertainment industry? Oh, it was surreal. It was a dream come true. I, I've, I grew up falling in love with those underdog sports films, those Disney films, you know, Miracle, Secretariat, all which was done by the same producer of safety, Mark Chardy. So all of that just kind of coming full circle was very surreal. I, these were the types of films that partially inspired me to want to be an actor one day. And, and now I'm, I'm a part of that same type of film that inspired me at such a young age. So it's, it's a dream come true and I'm just extremely humbled to be a part of it. Yeah, well, you do a great job. And Hunter, I know I've been keeping busy in quarantine by watching so many Disney movies like Safety. What have you been up to during quarantine? Well, I've been spending a lot of time with my family. Uh, we have a farm about an hour outside of St. Louis. I'm originally from St. Louis, Missouri. So I've been, I've been spending a lot of time out on my farm, riding horses, doing things like that, because it's just me and my dad. I, there's no other people I have to worry about being around or anything like that. So that's been my safe place for sure but more recently i've been watching the christmas movies that have been playing on tv that's been a big thing for me lately um but yeah just trying to stay busy and, and stay sane shooting season two of star world right now in atlanta so um you know just just following through with all that well best of luck to you with everything hunter sansone thank you so much for joining us today it was a pleasure thank you so much for having me absolutely for more on actor Hunter Sansone and to catch other episodes of The Buzz, head on over to Newsday.com. You can watch Hunter in the brand new movie Safety streaming only on Disney Plus right now. Thank you so much for joining us today on Newsday's The Buzz. Till next time, I'm Marissa Sarbeck.